please look at this man's arm. He is unable to control it after the stroke. One in six people worldwide are affected by stroke. Fortunately, two out of three survive. But up to 80% of stroke victims suffer from upper limb paralysis during the first weeks following the stroke. Only 5% are able to regain full functional use of the arm or hand after six months. Neurologists have almost no tools other than standard medication and physiotherapy in cases of serious arm paralysis. Such tools are crucial during the first three to six weeks post-stroke for enabling the quality of a patient's future mobility. A solution to help with this problem is now available. Vibrant Reup is a new rehabilitation device that greatly improves the chance that a stroke patient will regain arm mobility. It integrates several technologies. One, a brain-computer interface. Two, artificial intelligence. Three, robotics. And four, virtual reality. This non-invasive brain-computer interface registers a patient's electrical brain activity and analyzes it with artificial intelligence to recognize the intention to move the arm. Then, the robotic device accomplishes the desired arm motion. Training in a virtual reality environment provides the important key to success, which is patient engagement. Because all four components work together, Vibrate Reup effectively stimulates neuroplasticity. This is the process that helps the brain build new neural connections in place of the damaged ones. This maximizes the performance of stroke rehabilitation. Unlike most of the existing tools, Vibrant Reup is a brain-computer interface which enables rehabilitation even when the arm is largely or totally paralyzed. Vibrant Reup is beneficial for a number of arm motor disabilities, but its current focus is on acute and subacute stroke. The device can be used from the first day after intensive care even if the patient is bedridden. Patients exercise with the tool daily through 10 to 15 one-hour sessions. During each session, two to three different exercises are performed. Before the first session, the artificial neural network must be trained for 20 to 30 minutes by analyzing the patient's EEG in order to recognize the intention to move the arm. At the same time, the patient gets used to the device. Tool setup for each following session takes six to eight minutes. In order to obtain a stable electrical signal from the patient's scalp and muscles and secure a comfortable position and range of motion. The training consists of active exercises executed in a virtual reality environment. The patient chooses a desired arm position and then focuses on a target that marks this position and the action necessary to reach it. This brain effort adds certain features to the EEG, which can be detected and used as a signal to initiate the exoskeletal movement. The direct relation between intention and motion stimulates the brain to create new neural connections, which bypass the stroke-affected areas. After the first several sessions, the patient's arm muscle activity becomes stronger, and from this moment, the patient must also contract the arm muscles up to a certain level to start the motion. The technique sufficiently enforces training efficacy. The patient's progress can be measured by standard motor performance tests, such as the Fugelmeyer Assessment Index. Vibrate Rehab transforms thoughts into motions to significantly improve patients' post-stroke mobility for a better life.